Welcome to Lovington Wildcat Playoff Football on Z94 KZOR, the Z94 KZOR app, HobbsAmerica.com, and the Lovington Sports YouTube channel. Wildcat Playoff Football is brought to you by IPS Incorporated, Lasco Construction, Eunice Pump and Supply, the Norley Hospital District, Albertson's Market, and New Mexico Junior College. Wildcat Playoff Football is also brought to you by Stone Oilfield Services, Man Welding, the Lee County Electric Cooperative, Bob's Thriftway, Lovington Schools, Lovington Auto Supply, Devon Energy, and now Pharmacy. Live in Silver City, New Mexico, it is time for the 4A NMAA Nusinda Federal Credit Union semifinals. The Wildcats and the Colts hitting the field on a beautiful Saturday afternoon in far western New Mexico. I'm TJ Miracle flying solo today. Don Morgan on assignment. Of course, last night doing the big game in Texaco. Congratulations to the JAL Panthers and the Lovington Wildcats today looking to punch their ticket on into the 4A finals. And a familiar opponent as the Silver Colts on the other side of the field from them here this afternoon. For your Wildcats in this one, they come in at 5-6 and six overall on the season, but they are a perfect 5-for-5 uh, five five in their last five games. They were undefeated in district, and they are, while seeded number fourth in this tournament, they are the number two team in the state on the coaches' poll and also in the NMAA power rankings for Silver. They have had just a magnificent year under Coach Jerome Ortiz as the Fighting Colts come in at 10-1 and one on the year, and they are number one on the season. Their only loss coming to Deming back in the middle portion of the season. And that team, uh, that Deming team, playing Artesia today in Deming. So only lost to a 5A squad that is in also in the playoffs for Lovington. I looked this up last night. There's six losses, all the playoff teams, including Artesia, who's playing today in Deming. So really for Lovington, it has been a tale of two seasons. But we'll talk more about that as we prepare for the National Anthem. Stone Old Field Services pregame show continues on Z94, KZOR, Hobbs, Lovington.
Welcome back to your Stone Oil Field Services pregame show. I'm TJ Miracle flying solo this afternoon from Silver City, New Mexico, as we get ready for this 4A semifinal matchup between the Wildcats and the Silver Fighting Colts. Max Carranza in studio engineering and producing today as we get ready for the start of this one. Of course, Lovington last week getting a big win against the Port Talos Rams, 29-23, to to punch their ticket on into this semi-final matchup and it was a good balanced attack last week for the Wildcats. Uh, 320 total yards in that ball game, 163 through the air. Ashton Aranda went 11 of 17 for that 163 yards. He did have a 66 yard touchdown strike to Alec Olguin. 157 on the ground. Ashton Aranda did most of the damage with his feet as he rushed for 71 yards and two touchdowns in that ball game on Dallas Cardenas and also having a good ball game, eight carries for 61 yards. He also had a touchdown. Going to be very important for the Cats today to establish that run and open up the passing lanes. Silver has been extremely efficient on defense. Their opponents are averaging just four points a ball game, slightly over four points a game. So they have been extremely stingy on defense. Their offense averaging about 33 points a game for Lovington um, in the five-game win streak, averaging just over 31 points per game while giving up 14. But the defense much, much improved over what we've seen the last couple of years. They have done an absolutely fantastic job for the Wildcats. Going to need to keep an eye on their quarterback, Emiliano Jimenez. He's really their passing quarterback and uh, Aiden Jaquez also gets uh, quite a few uh, reps at the quarterback position. Their big running back, though, is Aiden Granado. He's rushed for just under 900 yards this season, but they do sometimes kind of run in a three-headed uh, monster kind of system. Ricky Vasquez and Mason Lockett, also a big number of carries, both of them. Uh, Vasquez just under 500 yards, Lockett just over 400. Really, their main passing target is Julian Richard, a junior, 602 yards. So really, two out of every three passing yards that they've gotten have gone to that young man. For the Wildcats, they are in the road whites with the blue pants, the blue letters and numbers, the white hats with the cats in script on the side for the home team, Silver Colts. They are in the navy blues with the white letters and numbers and the blue and white helmets. That's been your Stone Old Field Services pregame show. We are ready to kick this one off. And if the camera's a little wonky, I apologize. And if the score bug's a little off, I apologize. As I, know, I am flying solo today, but uh, Don Morgan, when we win today, will be back with us for the championship game next week. Wherever you are around the world, we appreciate you watching and listening to Wildcat football from Z94 KZOR. So into this one, the Cats will have the first crack at it on the offensive side of things against the Silver Fighting Colts. So ready to go on a beautiful Saturday for football. 48 degrees and sunny. Not a whole lot of wind from here in far western New Mexico. So getting ready to kick things away. It'll be Rio Corey, the senior kicker for this squad. Now, Silver, we uh, handily defeated them here last year in the regular season. They were a district game last year. But then they came to our place and played a massively good game, us getting the 14 to 7 wins. We've played them. This will be the fourth time in less than two years as Corey will kick it away. It is a low line driver on the bounce. It'll be Thompson. Picks it up at the 10. Comes back near side, 15 to the 20. Gets a block around the 25 to the 30. 35 to the 40. A little stutter step and knocked out of bounds in front of the silver bench at about the 45 yard line. First and 10 for the Lovington Wildcats on a great return by Demarcus Thompson. Colt Stadium here in Silver City is a natural turf field. Um, I'm trying to remember the last time we played on natural grass. It was probably here last season. So first and 10, nose of the ball right at the 45. Cat offense will start at first. We are just starting off this 4A semifinal matchup. Winner takes on the winner of Bloomfield and Taos. That game happening right now as well. Twins left, twins right from the near hash mark. Aranda from the shotgun. Ochoa is the deep back. Give it off to Kevin. He's got a big hole. He's across the 50 and going to be knifed down as he crosses midfield down to about the 48-yard line. It'll be a nine-yard pickup for Kevin Ochoa. Second down and one, but a huge gain there for Ochoa. And it was just a shoestring tackle that saved him. Luke Boyer, the senior lineman and sometimes linebacker, got him on the shoes. So it'll be second down and one for the Wildcats just underway here. 
Inside Silver Territory, Aranda with split backs in the backfield. Twins to the right, one to the left. Wildcats moving left to right. Bad snap, Ashton has to pick it off the turf. Goes left side, stiff arms a man still on his feet, but is going to lose yardage as he is squirted out of bounds. Good pursuit by Gavin Aguirre, and just a bad snap led to that. He's going to lose two yards on the play, and so now it'll make it third down and an important three here early. Ashton gets out of bounds, which stops the clock with 11.06 to go. Still in silver territory at the 49-yard line. Third down and call it four officially for the Wildcats. No important third down here early. Two backs in the backfield with Aranda from the full shotgun. Twins to the right, one to the left. Ashton tries the hard count. Silver stays put. Now they're going to change the play at the line. Still plenty of time on the play clock. Ashton gets it. It's another bad snap. Aranda back, and he's just going to have to eat it back inside the 45, back at the 44-yard line. Two bad snaps, and the Cats losing massive yardage there. That's going to drop them back. Let's see. That's five. That is 10, 11, 12-yard loss. Yikes. And so it'll be fourth down at about 16 in punt time for the Wildcats. So just a little bit of nerves, I think, here in the early going. So punt time for Lovington at fourth and 16. Ball spotted back at about the, between the 39 and the 40 yard line inside Wildcat territory. Of course, the ball moves a little different on natural grass than it does on the artificial surfaces. One man back deep. That is Jaquez for this uh, silver team as Aranda going to pop it up. It is going to wobble and bounce, and then it's going to bounce off of one of the Wildcats at about the, call it the 44, 43-yard line. So turn the ball over, new set of downs, and it'll be Silver's turn to take over again. You cannot give this Silver squad any room to work. Averaging over 33 points a game, they're, they're not 10-1 and one for, uh, for no reason, and they aren't the number one team in the state. Of course, the Wildcats are the defending state champs. And would love a chance to go for another one to put on the wall at Wildcat Stadium. So it'll be the deep back, or the Jimenez is, no, Paquez is the quarterback, and he'll hand it off to Lockett, and he comes over the uh, left guard and takes it across the 50 into Lovington territory, down to about the 47-yard line, going to be close to a first down. They're going to say just short, so it'll be a pickup of nine, and so it'll be second down and one. So second and one now. Of course, that three-headed running back system that they've got. And it'll be Marquez once again to run the offense. Split backs in the backfield. Sends a tight end in motion right to left. Hand off, lock it near side. It's hit in the backfield. Gets away from one, gets away from two. Stiff arms a man at the 35. He's to the 20, to the 15. And finally, going to be bumped out by Kamano Choa down at the 16-yard line. Yowza. That is a pickup of 26 yards for Lockett, and it'll move the chains first down for the Colts. So from the 16-yard line, first and 10 for Silver. Their running game is dashing and gashing. Lockett was hit in the backfield, but managed to shrug it off. Lockett, the senior running back. Haquez is still the quarterback. Single back in the backfield will be Lockett this time. First and 10 from the 16 inside the Wildcat red zone. Haquez keeps it himself. He's going to go to the left side. He's got some rebounds to the 10 to the 5, and he is going to be, he fumbles the ball, and Lovington falls on it in the end zone, but they are going to say that he was down before the ball popped out, so he's going to have it right at the one-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 on the quarterback keeper for Haquez, and it'll be first and goal for Silver. And I apologize about the camera work. I am flying solo. So time for the Lovington D to step up in a big way. First and goal for Silver from the one-yard line. Lockett will be the solo back with Yaquez. The junior quarterback, he goes up under center. Look for the sneak, and he'll just push it in and take it into the end zone. A mad scramble for it as the ball popped out, but not before he broke the plane. So the keeper for Aiden Yaquez from one yard out, and the Silver Colts take the early 6 to nothing lead with the point after to come. They just marched it right down the field on the Wildcats. So now Rio Corey on to attempt the extra point. 
Out of the hold of Yaquez. Lovington going to come after it, looks like. Low snap. Picks it up off the turf, and a line drive kick is up, and it is good. With 8.48 to go in the first quarter here in Silver City, it is Silver 6, or pardon me, Silver 7, loving to nothing. We are back in one minute. Wildcat football continues on Z94 KZOR. Corey to kick it away after the silver touchdown. It is a spinning line drive that will go through the end zone and out. First and ten for the Wildcats, trailing now seven to nothing as the Silver Colts just marched it right down the field, capped off by a one-yard quarterback keeper by Aiden Yaquez. Point after was good, and that makes it a six to nothing ball game. So now going to be important for the Wildcats to answer on their second possession of the ball game. They'll have it first and 10 from their own 28, 48 remaining here in this first quarter of play. Winner moves on to the state championship game next Saturday. Well, the Cats will come out. Aranda is the quarterback, single back in the backfield with him. And is there, oop, missing a lineman. So will they check in? Coming in for Lovington, Jaden Bosquez will come in, and Coach G going to take a timeout with the uh, confusion on personnel. We'll just keep it right here, say a big thank you to everybody who makes Wildcat football possible. Couldn't do it without IPS, Lasco Construction, Eunice Pump and Supply, Norley Hospital, Albertson's Market, New Mexico Junior College, Stone Oil Field Services, Man Welding, Lee County Electric Cooperative, Bob's Thriftway, the Lovington Schools, Lovington Auto Supply, Devon Energy, and now Pharmacy. We appreciate them making it possible for us to bring you Wildcat football here on Z94 KZOR. We are video streaming today on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel and HobbsAmerica.com. Rights granted by the New Mexico Activities Association and paid for by New Walmart Broadcasting and New Walmart Digital. Of course, the Lovington Sports YouTube channel. Be sure you subscribe, tell your family and friends. We don't charge you to watch your kids and your teams play. And remember, once we get to 1,000 subscribers, somebody gets 100 bucks of 1,000 subscribers. Somebody gets 100 bucks of my money. So, all right, I think all the confusion is out now, and we are ready to go. Aranda from the shotgun gets it, hands it off, and a little stutter step, and just bowling right up the middle out to about the 25-yard line and still moving. I really wish they'd blow those dead before they do. Ochoa going to pick up. They're going to give him six on the play. Ochoa's second carry of the ball game. And so it'll be second down and four. Good job for Ochoa. Went up there and just pushed the pile. Ruben Olguin was the first man to make contact with him in there. Also Eric Kahn getting a hit on him too before basically the entire Silver Colt team did. Second down and four from the 26-yard line. Wildcats in their own territory trailing by seven. Good snap, hand it off. Ochoa left side, crosses the 30 to the 31-yard line. It'll be a pickup of five and move the chains. First down, Cats, their first first down of the ball game. And again, that was Olguin that brought him down, number 88. Luke Boyer also getting a hit on him. So first and 10 from the 31-yard line, Wildcat football. Now they got to settle it down and just try and move it, Aranda. From the shotgun, twins to the left, one to the right. Good snap this time, handed off. Ochoa comes near side. He is hit and brought down. Going to get a yard, maybe two out of it. Boyer again on the stop, so give him two on the play. 22 yards on four carries for Ochoa, so it'll be second down and eight. Again, I apologize if the 
Scorebug gets a little behind today. Don, normally the Scorebug aficionado and the expert, so kind of learning as I go here. So from the 33-yard line, second down and eight for the Wildcats. Seven minutes to go here in the first quarter. Twins left, one right from the near hash mark. Good snap, fake the handoff. Ashton keeps it himself. Goes over the tackle, crosses the 35 to the 36, fights forward for a couple more yards again. That is Olguin on the stop, and Ashton is going to pick up about three, make it, yeah, we'll call it three on the play. And so that'll be third down and five now for the Cats. So third and five for Lovington. Another important third and five as we click down towards the halfway mark of this first quarter. Moves the ball more to the center hash. So first and ten, or rather third and five. From between the 35, make that 36 and 37. Aranda with split backs in the backfield this time. Twins to the left. Ashton barks it out, gets it high snap. He'll take it himself. Rolls left, looks, fires across his body. Has Holguin out across the 45 to about the 50-yard line where he is taken out of bounds. So it'll be a pickup of 14 and move the chains. First down, Wildcats. Second first down. And the 14-yard completion will move the chains. That'll put it just shy of midfield for Lovington. Now they're on the move. First pass of the ball game. And it goes to Alec Olguin, who has been the favorite target this season. Now Lovington going to flip the script, go twins to the right, one to the left. Two backs in the backfield. Take the hand off, Aranda to pass. Under pressure, gets a good block. Now he's going to be really under pressure. His hit as he throws it, puts up a wounded duck, and it'll go out of bounds. But big pressure coming in. Big number 42, Gavin Aguirre. So it'll be incomplete, and that'll bring up a second down and 10 for the Wildcats. They need to protect Ashton, but he had time that time, just nobody able to get open. Good job throwing it away and good hustle across the field for Gonzalez to get over there, so didn't have a chance of being intentional grounding. The so second and 10 from the Wildcat 49-yard line. Single back in the backfield this time is Ochoa. Waiting on the snap, hard count. Silver jumps but doesn't break the plane. Now going to change the play at the line. So Ashton Audible's out of it, gets the new play in. Gets it, fakes the little screen, rolls to the left. Now he just tucks it, takes it himself, and is hit behind the line. And again, that is Aguirre who brings him down, and Boyer also, or rather Olguin in on that stop. Nowhere for Ashton to go, and he is going to lose two on the play. And so now it'll be third down and 12. So the silver defense just swarming. Nowhere for Aranda to go. Good crowd making the trip up from Lovington. Not an easy drive, to be sure. So now an important third down and 12 from the Wildcats' own 47-yard line. Aranda waits on the snap, has it. Three-step drop, looks, is pressured, is hit just as he lets it fly, and that one is going to go into the silver bench incomplete. And so that will bring up a fourth down and 12 and should be punt time again for the Wildcats. So we're able to move the ball a little bit, but then kind of stalled out near midfield. 4.59 remaining first quarter. Silver in the lead, 7-0. Of course, the winner moves on to play for a state championship next week. Loser gets ready for basketball season. So on fourth down and 12, Aranda normally the punter for the quick kick. Nobody back deep to receive, and Ashton will get it, and that one is going to be blocked. Comes in, and it is going to be picked up by Olguin, and the block was made by Boyer, and so a blocked punt and gives Silver the football at great position in Lovington territory. They'll have it first and 10 on the Wildcat 41. A couple of blocks this year have turned into big plays the other way for the other team. Right now, the Cat line just having a little bit of trouble matching up with the physicality of Silver in the middle. Silver's big and they are experienced. And remember last year at our place, they gave us everything that uh, that they had. Good game, and that was a quarterfinal matchup last year. 
Oh, quarterback is Hawkins, hands it off to Lockett, starts it to the right, brings it back to the left, crosses the 40 to the 38-yard line before he is going to be body slammed by Anthony Gomez. Also in on that stop, Anson Marquez. So Lockett's going to pick up, looks like, two on the play. So call it second down and about eight. So second and eight, Silver inside Lovington territory. Good field position from the Wildcat 38-yard line. Hawkins still the quarterback. Two backs in the backfield with him. Fake the handoff to Lockett. Give it to Vasquez, and he's going to go up the middle and is going to get another yard, maybe two, where the middle closes up, and Kamen Ochoa on that stop. Also getting the hand in there, Ezekiel Guzman. So it'll be a pickup of two for Vasquez. And that'll be third down and about six to go for Silver. 3.50 to go first quarter, fast moving first. Seven to nothing, Silver in the lead. Silver going to put Twins to the left side, Twins to the right. Lock it in the backfield with Jaquez. Jaquez gets the snap, three-step drop, flushed, steps up and is hit in the backfield, and Demarcus Thompson is going to bring him down. The first sack of the ball game. Thompson came through on a safety blitz, found a seam. Nowhere for Hawkes to go. First sack of the ball game. He is going to lose six, make it seven. So now it'll be fourth down and 12 for the Silver Fighting Colts. So the six yard sack. And so they are going to show punt. Mike Lockett is the punter. Wellington going to send a couple of men back deep to receive. High snap, Lockett gets it. Lovington lets it fly, and they're just going to watch that one go over their head and into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback, so Lovington will have it back out at the 20-yard line. Winds up being a 43-yard punt, but just a 23-yard net, so first and 10 for the Wildcats as they will have their third possession of this first quarter. But nice job there by the defense to hold up the Silver Colts. So back over to Lovington, trailing 7 to nothing here in the first quarter of this 4A semifinal matchup from here in Silver this afternoon. First and 10, Aranda back out there. And he will hand it off and just right up the middle. Not a lot of running room at all there. <coughs> Pardon me. For Cardenas. On Dallas, his first carry of the ball game is going to net two yards for him. So it'll be second down and eight. Second and eight for your Wildcats. Having a little trouble finding running room. You just grind it away as much as you can. So on second down and eight, good snap, Aranda with it. Three-step drop, looks left, fires left, has a man out across the 30 to the 31, and Ryan Weiser is going to be upended and slammed to the turf, but he's still going to get nine yards from Aranda. Ryan got WWE body slam there, but it's a nine-yard completion. And so that'll move the chains. First down, Wildcats, their third of the contest. From the 31 yard line, first and 10, Lovington. Weiser got picked up and slammed down by Aiden Granado. Out there on defense, hadn't seen him on offense yet. Single back in the backfield, hand it off. Cardenas just lowers the shoulder and bowls forward across the 35, out to the 36 yard line. Stop made by Nick Chavez. It'll be a pickup of six for Cardenas. That's what he does best. Just Runs right downhill. Second down and four. Not afraid of contact, to be sure. Across the 35 to the 36-yard line. For Lovington, going to split twins to the right side, twins to the left. Single back in the backfield. Send a man in motion. That's Olguin from left to right. Low snap. Ashton handles it. Looks left. Fires left. Has a man. That's Marquez out across the 40 to the 45 and is going to be pushed backward near midfield. They're going to give him forward progress to the 49-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 13. Nice catch for Anson and move the chains. First down, Wildcats. 
Lovington changing the pace, speeding things up a little bit. Twins left, twins right. Good snap, hand it off. Up the middle and nowhere to go that time for on Dallas as he gets back to the line, but can't find any more running room underneath than that. Coming out from the bottom of the pile is Nick Chavez, so no gain, and it'll be second down and 10. Actually, wow, they're going to move him back a yard. You know, second and 11. I thought he got back to the line, but I guess the officials saw it differently. So second down and 11. Loss of one on the play. 15 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Lovington trailing 7 to nothing. Trips left, one to the right. Ashton gets it. Waits. Throws it. Left side has a man. It'll be complete, and it'll be right at the 50-yard line. Pass complete over there to Angel Gonzalez. It'll be good for two, make it a three-yard completion. And that will end the first quarter of play. So after one, it is Silver in the lead of this one by a score of 7 nothing. We're back in one minute. Wildcat playoff football continues on KZOR. Start of the second quarter back here at Silver City. Lovington right at midfield and facing a third down and nine. Seven to nothing, Silver in the lead. Cats going to split trips to the right, one to the left. As we flip the field, low snap, Ashton handles it. Pressure comes, going to be bouncing out to the right side, looking for some room to run. Still looking and is just going to have to tuck it, take it himself, and winds up on the keeper and is going to get about a yard, maybe two, but a good coverage down the field. Nobody able to spring open. And so it'll be fourth down and about seven to go. A fourth and seven from the 48-yard line and probably going to be punt time again for the Wildcats. 11.45 to go first half. Cats going to try and push them back and pin them deep. Silver did block the last one they saw, so it's going to be important to give Ashton a little bit of time to get it away. They are going to send a man back deep. That is Vasquez. Randa about 10 yards behind his position, waits the snap, gets it, gets that one away. Good protection. Goes over the head of Vasquez and will bounce at the 10, and then it's going to be downed quickly by Hagen Lazardo inside the 10, down about the 8, make it the 9-yard line. Silver wanted uh, an interference call. Diego Lucetto was back to receive. No fair catch, so it'll be first down and 10. For Silver from their own nine-yard line, 11:37 to go, first half, a seven-to-nothing lead. And I don't know why I've still got six on the score bug. Now it is corrected. Well, under center this time, new quarterback in the ball game, and nobody falling for the handoff as Jimenez hands it off to Lockett, and he is driven backwards. He's going to lose a yard on the play. Great job up front by the Wildcats. And Brennan Garcia and Valentin Herrera doing a nice job pushing him back. Second down and 11 now for Silver. So inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line, Silver football. We're going to spread out twins to the left. Keep everybody tied on the right side. One back in the backfield is Lockett. Hawk is back in. He's going to fire a pass, has a man, and that one is going to be complete out across the 35 to the 40-yard line as Richard got a step, and he is up, and he is good. That'll be good for 31, make that 29 yards, and it'll be a first down for 
the Silver Colts. They were backed up good. Now they're up on the 38-yard line, still in their own territory, but it gives them some room to work. Jaquez is the quarterback still. And so the handoff coming near side. That is Vasquez. Crosses the 40 to the 44-yard line before he is knocked out on the near side to Marcus Thompson. Also on that stop, Alec Olguin, who's up and holding his arm a little bit. Certainly hope Alec's okay. Vasquez that time getting five on the play. Second down and five to go for the Silver Colts. Ten minutes to go here in the first half. Silver on the move, going to split one to the left, one to the right. Three-headed monster in the backfield. Jimenez goes up under center. Sends a man in motion. Now he's just going to shift around the running back. That is Vasquez. Comes near side. He's hit in the backfield. Stiff arms a man still on his feet and stays in bounds as he's going to be near the 50-yard line. So he's going to pick up needed about five. He's going to get seven. And it'll move the chains. First down for the Colts. Their fourth first down of the ball game. And now first and ten as they're going to put them right at the 50. No, not quite into Wildcat territory yet. And we're going to have an official timeout. And, oh, Alec Olguin lost his hat, so he's going to have to take it off for a play. Olguin takes his helmet off, which means he has to come out for a play. Checking in in his stead is going to be Angel Gonzalez. So now it'll be first down and ten for the Colts from the Wildcat, or rather right at the 50-yard line. Going to bunch everybody in tight from right at midfield from the shotgun. That is Jimenez with it, throws it underneath and through the hands of his intended target, Richard. Good coverage by Gonzalez, so incomplete. It'll be second down and 10. That is just the second pass attempt for Silver here in this first half. Jimenez will stay in as the quarterback. Jimenez and Yaquez both seeing significant time at the quarterback position. Come out, one receiver to the right, one to the left. Going to do some more shifting around. And they will hand it off to Lockett, but flags fly. That generally means a false start. But we'll see what they say, and it will be false start on Silver. Their first penalty of the ball game, first penalty for either team in the ball game, so move them back five yards. So back to the 45, and it'll be second down and 15. As Richard will bring the play in from the sideline. About 48 degrees as we kick this one off. Beautiful afternoon. A few clouds here in western New Mexico, but not all that breezy. So now Silver going to go trips to the left and one to the right. Richard by himself to the right. Lockett is the deep back with Jimenez. Three-step drop, wants it, hit as he fired. Goes for a man down the far right side. Did he get it? And, wow, I think they're going to say complete, but they're also going to say pass interference. Well, Silver going to move it up. That would be 5, 10, 15, 20, like a 25-yard completion. They're going to say it was complete. And from our angle, it looked like he was out of bounds. Oh, and are, are they going to say offensive pass interference? I think maybe they are. Nope. I think they are going to wave the pass. So it will be pass interference. They are going to say incomplete on the pass, but pass interference on the Wildcats. So the first penalty on the Cats, that's a 15-yarder. And that'll mean first down for the Colts, their fifth of the ball game. So that'll move them into Wildcat territory at the 40-yard line. First down and 10 after the pass interference penalty. Jimenez stays in as the quarterback with trips to the left, one to the right. They are going to be coming to Richard on the right. You've got to think. They're going to throw the wide receiver screen as soon as I say that. They've got a man coming back across the middle and to the 35-yard line. 
flipped out and complete to Ezekiel Morales. Good for a five-yard gain. And so it'll be second down and five. Seven to nothing. Silver in the lead, and we'll have an official timeout. And we've got an injured man for the Wildcats down. So with an injury timeout, 8.03 to go here in the first half. We're back in one minute here on KZOR Hobbs. Back to Wildcat football in the playoffs. After the injury, Weiser is off under his own power as Jimenez rolls to the left, looks back right, has time, fires across the middle, and has Richard, but does he complete it? Lovington says it is incomplete. Let's see what the... Yep, it will be incomplete. Silver moving up like it was complete. Sorry, not that time. So incompletion, third down and five. Pretty good coverage down there by the Wildcats. So from the 35-yard line, a big third down and five here for Silver's offense and for Lovington's defense. 7.40 to go here in this first half of play. Silver with the 7 to nothing lead. I'm T.J. Miracle, Max Carranza in studio engineering and producing this afternoon. Don Morgan on assignment. So now it'll be Yaquez back in the game to pull the trigger on the offense. Sends a man in motion left to right. That's Morales. Yaquez looks to pass. He's going to throw the running back screen to lock it, and he gets away from one, high steps it over the 30, down the sideline to the 20, 15, 10, 5, and into the end zone for the silver touchdown as Yaquez sends it out 36 yards officially to Ryan or Mason Lockett for the silver touchdown. That is not what the Cats wanted to see at all. So that'll make it a 13 to nothing silver lead with the point after to come. Cats had some opportunities to get him on that far sideline. Just could not capitalize, couldn't bring him down. Lockett's having a whale of a ball game. Point after to come. Out of the hold of Yaquez, high snap, gets it down. Lovington almost gets to it, but it'll still squeak through. And with 7.27 remaining here in the first half, it is Silver 14, Lovington nothing. We're back in one minute here on Z94 KZOR and the Lovington Sports YouTube channel. Kick it away. It will be fielded by Demarcus Thompson. He's going to bring it back. Still on his feet as he crosses the 20 to the 25 and then swims forward to the 29-yard line, and that's where the Cats will take over. First down and 10, trailing 14 to nothing on a 36-yard touchdown pass. A little running back screen from Hawkes to Lockett. And now first and 10 from the 29-yard line. Wildcat football trailing by two scores. Going to be important to get the offense up and at them if they can this time by. 
Aranda has not had a lot of passing time, although he is four of seven for 39 yards. From the shotgun, Aranda sends a man in motion. That's Gonzalez handed off and nowhere to go up the middle as Kamen Ochoa is swallowed up and driven backwards. Luke Boyer again having a whale of a ball game. I think they're gonna say Kamen got back to the line. Yep, no gain officially on the play. And so it'll be second down and 10. So second and 10 for the Wildcats. Silver not doing anything fancy. They're just playing big boy football up front. So second and 10, 6.48 remaining. First half, Wellington trailing by two touchdowns. Now split backs in the backfield for your Wildcats. Twins to the left, one to the right. Send a man in motion. Aranda back to pass. Five-step drop, pressured. Steps up, gets away from it momentarily, but he is going to get back to the line of scrimmage before Lockett grabs him around the waist and drags him backwards, and then a Gary comes in and cleans him up, so no gain for Ashton and gets back to the line, so it'll be third down and 11, or third and 10. No, just nowhere to go there for the Wildcats that time. Good coverage down the field. Well, that's contributing to some of it. So now third and 10 for the Wildcats as Aranda lucky to get back to the original line of scrimmage. We're gonna split trips to the left this time. Twins to the right, empty set in the backfield. Gonna try and spread things out. Three men across the front for Silver. Aranda on the quarterback, Keeper. Gets away from one, he doesn't get away from two though as he is gonna be hit and brought down Nick Chavez on the far sideline, also Julian Richard on the stop. Ashton gets five on the play, but it'll be fourth down and five. So now fourth and five for the Wildcats. Ball just shy of the 35-yard line. Should be punt time for the Cats again. As they're going to back Richard all the way up to about the 30. Cats going to have to bring the Get the protection dialed up. Aranda doesn't want to get another one blocked. That snap Ashton with it has time. Puts it high into the mountain air, and it'll bounce at the 30. Take a big Lovington bounce, and then it squirts off inside the 10 and diving down. And did he get it before it goes into the end zone? No, they're going to say that the big hustle play there by the Wildcats and Hagen Lazardo was for naught. They're going to say he was in the end zone when he touched it, so that'll bring it out to the 20. So first and 10 for Silver from the 20. 4.52 remaining first half. Silver would love nothing more than to punch another one in, while Lovington would love nothing more than to stop him. Of course, Silver kicked off the ball game, so they will have the ball to start the second half. Just a 14 to nothing score in this one thus far. And Lovington's offense has had trouble getting moving. Let's see who the quarterback's going to be to start this series. It'll be Emiliano loses a yard on the play, and it'll be second down and 11. So move them back to the 19-yard line, second and 11 for the Colts. Good job inside by Lovington not to fall for the misdirection. 4.20 remaining, first half. Clock continues to move. Jimenez will still be the quarterback. He'll come out in the shotgun this time. Vasquez is the deep back with him. Keeping everybody in tight. Jimenez looks to pass. Going to throw the wide res or the receiver screen near side to Vasquez as he's going to get it out to near the line of scrimmage. He might have actually lost a yard on the play, and he will. So it is a completion, but he loses a yard, so it'll be third down and 12. Completed to Vasquez. But third and 12, good job by the Wildcats and Olguin and Ochoa on the near side, bringing him down for not only no gain, but a loss on the play. Three and a half remaining. First half, twins to the right, one to the, make that twins to the left this time. Jimenez still in at quarterback. Signals to his receivers near side. Three-step drop, pressure comes, steps up in the pocket, fires it down the seam to Richard. He goes up over Olguin and gets it across the 40, down to the 43-yard line. And so that is going to be good for 23, make it 25 yards, and it'll move the chains for the Colts. 
So that is 54 yards for Richard. 58 through the air for Jimenez on three of six passing. So first and 10 for the fighting Colts from the 43-yard line. for the snap, but it's snapped back to him. Somehow he gets to it, and Hagen Lazardo gets there quickly and will put him down. It'll go in the books as a sack for Lazardo, but not ready for that one at all. Jimenez goes down, and that's going to be five, six, seven, eight yards. So an eight-yard sack on the fumble that he was not ready for. So first sack of the ball game for the Wildcats, second down and 18. No, second and 18. Ball all the way back at the 35-yard line. Jimenez will get it this time. Has time, steps up, throws it down the seam, and nobody in the neighborhood except for Matthew Garcia. I think some miscommunication there. I think his intended receiver was Ricky Vasquez, but Vasquez turned it towards the center of the field instead of just running it straight up. So now it'll be third down and 17 on the incompletion. And timeout going to be taken by Coach Ortiz. 2-12 remaining here in this first half of play. Silver facing a third and 18. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Wildcat football continues in a moment on KZOR. Timeout taken by the Silver Colts, facing a third down and 17, make it 18. I'm TJ Miracle. Great to have you with us. 14 to nothing is our score in favor of the Silver Colts. Lovington has had their opportunities, but has had a little trouble getting the offense in gear when they've been around midfield. So now it'll be third down and 18. Time for the defense to step up. This is a team in Lovington that the offense can feed off of the defense. Time for the defense to step up. Jimenez the quarterback, twins left, twins right. Rolls near side, pressure comes. Pump fake fires and goes for Richard on the near side. And they're gonna say incomplete was out of bounds. He was being pressured by Lazardo and Garcia near side. So it will be incomplete. And so it'll be fourth down and 18, and you've got to think punt time here for the fighting Colts. So Lovington will have 203 and two timeouts to work with. As Lockett will come on to try and kick this one away. So the snap is good. Lockett gets it and will boot it high in the air. It's a wobbler. Lovington going to get away from it. It'll take a silver bounce. and They're just going to walk it down to about the 30-yard line where it will be downed by Aiden Granados. And so that'll be 15 yards. It won't be an automatic first down. Or is this just the five-yarder? I thought they said personal foul, but now they're going to march it off from the line of scrimmage. So it'll be fourth down, but it'll wind up being fourth and about three this time instead of fourth and 18. So I'm thinking they'll be punting it. Wow, they gave him the first down. Okay, so first and 10 for the fighting Colts. So inside Lovington territory at the Wildcat 49. Bad penalty keeps the drive alive. Send a man in motion right to left. They'll hand it off to that motion man. That's Vasquez. Goes left side, and he is going to be tripped up. Ochoa got the hand on him initially. So Vasquez gets about three on the play. Second down and seven. So Ochoa with the shoestring on him. So second down and seven. 90 seconds to go here in the first half. Silver still with a couple of timeouts left. They're going to send Aiden Hawkins in with the play. He'll be running the offense this time. So 
Vasquez will be the deep back. Hawkes from the shotgun. Twins left, twins right. From the Lovington 47, send a man in motion right to left. Hawkes with it. Pressured, steps up in the pocket, hit in the backfield, and is dropped. That'll be the second sack of the ball game for the Wildcats. Great job coming through there for Lovington, and the sack going to be credited to Brennan Garcia. So the sack on Hawkes, that'll be the third sack of the ball game for the Wildcats. And now it'll be third down and 11. So third and 11 now for Silver City. The timeout taken with 52 seconds to go in the first half. We'll just keep it here. Of course, thanks for being with us wherever you are in Southeast New Mexico, West Texas, and around the world. Listening and watching free on the Hobbs Sports YouTube channel, on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel, and on HobbsAmerica.com. Trying to put the two things together. Doesn't work so well. So from the 50-yard line, it'll be third down and 11. Silver trying to get another score on the board before half, and they will have the ball to start the second half. Twins left, one to the right. Make that trips to the right. They'll send a man in motion. Hawk has good snap. Handles it, fires it as he throws it, going for Vasquez and over his head. And incomplete, Hawkes is hit, though. Good pressure in the backfield by the Wildcats. Anson Marquez coming through and putting the hit on him. No incomplete, and it'll be fourth down and 11. No I was going to say timeout. Nope, it'll just be the punt team coming on for Silver. So Lovington will have 46 seconds to... To work. And probably try and boom it as deep as he can. Penn Lovington back as far as he can. But Lovington's defense doing a nice job. And a good setup there with 46 seconds to go and a two-score lead. 14 to nothing in favor of Silver. Lockett awaits the snap. Lovington looks like they're going to bring everybody after it. Good snap. Lockett with it. Gets it away. It's a high end over ender. Going to bounce at the 25 and take a huge silver bounce inside the 20, then comes back a little bit to the 20, where it will be downed. So Lovington will have it first and 10 from the 20. That seems to pretty much be there where they are living here in this first half on their own 20-yard line. So first and 10 from their own 20. 34 seconds remaining here in the first half. Lovington going to try and... Get a home run ball in here somewhere, you gotta think. Oh, at first down and 10 from the 20 yard line. Ashton Aranda with a single back in the backfield with him. Ashton with it. Three step drop, comes near side, gets it to Weaster. It'll be complete. Ryan will step out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. Weaster with his first catch of the ball game. There he is. Actually, a second catch of the ball game. It'll be second down and about three now for the Wildcats. Still moving the ball. 28 seconds to go from the 28-yard line. Good snap. Ashton with it. Back to pass. Nobody open. Dances and is going to be hit back at the 25-yard line. Again, nobody downfield able to get open. Looked like maybe, maybe Angel Gonzalez had sprung free, but it'll be a two-yard sack. Now, Aranda, that'll be the second time he's been sacked on the day. And so it'll bring up a third down and four. So Lovington going to take a timeout with... 16 seconds to go here in the first half. Of course, we've got your Lovington Auto Supply Napa Know How Halftime Show coming up. We'll look at the numbers of the first half and talk about our keys to the second half. So for Lovington, they've definitely got some work to do. And they're going to uh, need to do what they can to see if they can do something here in this first half. We are having a little trouble with the video stream. But we are here live and loud on the radio and on the Z94 KZOR app. So out of the timeout, 16 seconds to go. Lovington with a third down and call it four. 
late in the second quarter. Lovington going to go trips right. Single receiver to the left is Ochoa. Empty set in the backfield for Aranda. Low snap, Ashton handles it. His hit as he throws it, throws it up the seam and overthrows Garcia incomplete. And so incomplete, and it'll be fourth down and four. Ten seconds to go in the half. So now Lovington with a decision to make. The special teams coming in. And Lovington just not able to get anything going at all here in this first half. So 10 seconds remaining here in the half. Lovington trailing 14 to nothing and should be punt time for the Wildcats as Vasquez will go back deep to receive. Lovington just wants to make sure that there is no big return here. As Coach G and company going to have some things to figure out at the half. High snap, Ashton handles it, gets to it, and then just pops it up. I don't know how he got it away, but he did. It's a wobbler that takes a big Lovington bounce at midfield, then goes inside the 40 and down inside the 30 where Hagen Lazardo is going to wait for it and will down it as the clock strikes zero. So we have played a half a football from here in Silver City for a semifinals. We'll be back for your Lovington Auto Supply Napa Know How Halftime Show in three minutes. This is Wildcat Football on Z94 KZOR.
Welcome to your Lovington Auto Supply Napa Know How Halftime Show from Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. When you need the Napa Know How, go get it from the good folks at Lovington Auto Supply. Proud to have them as Wildcat supporters here on Z94 KZOR and the Lovington Sports YouTube channel. Max Carranza in studio engineering and producing. I'm TJ Miracle. Don Morgan on assignment today. 14 to nothing, Silver leads at the half. Let's take a look at the numbers in the first half of this one here on Z94 KZOR Hobbs Lovington as the combined double-headed quarterback for Silver of Emiliano Jimenez and Aiden Jaquez go a combined 5 of 10 for 94 yards, one touchdown and no interceptions. Right now their leading receiver is Julian Richard. No big surprise there. Two catches, 54 yards, but the touchdown was a 36-yarder on a running back screen to Mason Lockett which he took into the end zone for that 36 yards. Lovington's run defense has been much better. Lockett leads the way, four carries, 36 yards, followed by Vasquez with four carries, 17 yards. Jimenez, one carry officially, it was he was sacked, lost eight yards. Aiden Jaquez with four carries, negative, or rather just seven yards. He has been sacked three times, and then Torres on an end around, one carry, negative one yard. So that is 90. And I was whistled one time, first half, and scored seven in the first and seven in the second. That's how they put their 14 on the board. For the Lovington Wildcats, the offense has just not been able to find any rhythm against a really tough fighting Colts defense. Ashton Arand in the first half goes five of nine for just 46 yards. No touchdowns, no interceptions. you got to remember Ashton is averaging about 200 yards a game on the ground. It's been hard going for Lovington. Amano Choa leads the way. Five carries, 22 yards on Dallas Cardenas. Just three carries, seven yards in that first half. Aranda, eight carries, negative eight yards. He was sacked three times in that first half. You hate to put one of them down as a sack because it was a snap over his head, but you have to. So he's been sacked three times. So if you're keeping up with at home, that's 46 through the air on the ground. It is 21, and that is just 67 total yards for the Wildcats. They were whistled twice for penalties in that first half. One a pass interference, one a personal foul. So two penalties, 30 yards, and no points on the board as of yet. Leading receiver for Lovington, Ryan Weiser, two catches for 16 yards. So uh, just four first downs, two for Lovington. It's been a number of years since we've seen the offense have this much trouble getting untracked, but they definitely had their troubles against a tough silver defense in that first half. So what are they going to do when they come out in the second half? Well, we'll come back and discuss it. Your Napa Know How keys to the second half when we return. This is your Lovington Auto Supply Napa Know How halftime show. Lovington trails silver in this 4A semifinal game, 14 to nothing. We're back in three minutes here on KZOR.
back here in Silver City, the 4A semifinal matchup today between the Lovington Wildcats and the Silver Colts. Halftime here at Fighting Colts Stadium, 14 to nothing is the score. I'm TJ in favor of Silver for I'm TJ Miracle. Max Carranza in studio engineering and producing. This is your Lovington Auto Supply Napa Know How Halftime Show from Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. So time to talk about our Napa Know How keys to the second half. And, well, the Cats, they've got to find a way to get something going. Really, the defense has not played poorly. They've given up a couple of big plays, but the line has played good. They've gotten three sacks on the, on the game, so that's very good, holding a very good rushing offense in silver to just 51 rushing yards. They've done their job there on the uh, passing side of things, really just a couple of big passes. Matter of fact, three of the five completed have all been for more than 25 yards. They've got to work on, you know, getting better coverage down the field defensively. But other than that, really defensively, nothing too major. Just to try and cut out the big plays on offense they have to find a way to get something going aranda has been harassed has not had much time he is five of nine but everything has been pretty short for the most part so got to think they're going to start thinking about maybe doing some shorter passes some quicker passes ways to get it in the hands of guys like olgeen and thompson and marquez and ochoa and cardenas and see if you can find a little space. Get it to them and just let them work. The line has got to start finding a way to open some holes. This silver squad, they are experienced. They are big. They are physical. Lovington can handle that, though, but they've got to find a way to create some holes for Cardenas, Ochoa, and Aranda to start going through, and they'll be fine. Special teams, you know, we talked about line play offensively and defensively. That's what they need. They had a punt blocked in that first half, and it – you know, fortunately did not lead to a score for Silver City, but you never want to see that in the stat book. So Lovington has just got to find a way to get the offense in gear to back up what the defense is doing and then just have the the special teams do what they can do. 14 to nothing against a, a team that averages over 30 points a game is uh, not bad at all, but you've got to find a way to get points yourself on the board if you are the Lovington Wildcats. And a score update from the other semifinal that is going on today. That game is taking place in Bloomfield between number two Bloomfield and number three Taos at halftime of that one. It's Bloomfield 25, Taos 7. Of course, the winner of that game would play the winner, will play the winner of this game. And I believe that uh, game is scheduled for next Saturday. And then depending on who owes whom, as to where that game would be. I believe if it winds up being Lovington Taos, I think it would be at the friendly confines. I'm not sure who owes whom in the Lovington Bloomfield scenario. Uh, I'm sure they've played before, probably about 45, 50 years ago, but no, I, I know it's been sooner than that. But hey, you can't worry about next week. You've still got to worry about this week. And you've got 24 minutes left on the clock potentially in your season if you want a shot at back-to-back -back state titles and really I'm going to say three in a row because I do count the COVID spring even though the uh, the team is even though the NMAA doesn't count it I think the schools and uh, the administrators and the players certainly do so if Lovington wants a shot at their third straight state title they are going to have to find a way to slow down the big plays and get the offense rocking and rolling they can do that I think they'll be absolutely fine going into the second half as the players coming back out onto the field. A determined look from this Wildcat squad, so we'll see what they come up with in the second half of action. We'll be back for the second half after this timeout. This has been your Lovington Auto Supply Napa Know How Halftime Show from Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. You know you're going to need the love and the Napa Know How for your car at some point. Go get it from the good folks at Lovington Auto Supply. Back for the kickoff of the second half after this. This is Wildcat Playoff Football on Z94 KZOR.
Welcome back to Lovington Wildcat football here on Z94 KZOR, the Z94 KZOR app, the Lovington Sports YouTube channel, and HobbsAmerica.com. Of course, remember, if uh, you're watching on the YouTube channel, tell your friends and family they can always watch that absolutely free. We never charge you to watch your kids and your teams play. And, hey, give us a subscription. Remember, 1,000 subscriptions on that Lovington Sports YouTube channel. Somebody is going to get $100 of my money. It's not coming from the sponsors. It's not coming from the stations. It's coming out of my pocket. So let's get to 1,000 subscribers, and I'll give one of our subscribers $100 of my own money. So 14 to nothing is our score here from Silver in favor of the fighting Colts. So the Cats are going to have their work cut out for them. Got to get the offense moving and grooving if they are going to come back in this one and move on for a chance to play for another state title. Max Carranza in studio engineering and producing. I'm TJ Miracle. Don Morgan is on assignment today. Wildcat playoff football brought to you by our friends at IPS, Wasco Construction, Eunice Pump and Supply, Norley Hospital, Albertson's Market, and NMJC. Wildcat playoff football also brought to you by Stone Oil Field Services, Man Welding, the Lee County Electric Cooperative, Bob Thriftway, Lovington Schools, Lovington Auto Supply, Devon Energy, and Now Pharmacy. You know, the winner of this one will go on to play more than likely Bloomfield next Saturday to be determined, and Lovington would love nothing more than to be in that ball game. Of course, it was the COVID season where Lovington and Bloomfield played at University Stadium in Albuquerque, and Yes, I do count that as one of as a state championship. So not sure what the uh, holdup is here, but uh, the teams are ready to go, but we don't have any officials back out on the field yet. Well, I guess somebody forgot to tell them that uh, halftime was over and time to come back out. They're waiting on our officials. As here they come. I think somebody went and got him. Was like, "Hey guys, the, uh, the clock's uh, clock's run down. Time to go." <laughs> so the officials are coming back out onto the field. A very clean ball game in that first half. Uh, just three penalties total called. One on Silver, two on Lovington. So a clean first half to be sure, and a fast-moving first half as well. well. Let's see what happens here in the second. And it'll all start with hopefully a defensive stand by the Wildcats. So Lovington will kick it off, and they will be kicking from the north to the south here at Colt Stadium. So that'll be left to right on your radio dial. So all you can think about if you're the Wildcats is you have to play the next 24 minutes like your hair is on fire. See if you can knock out the Silver Colts. You're still the champ until somebody knocks you off. A good crowd on hand making the trip up from Lee County to cheer on the Wildcats here this afternoon. So Contreras will get his first kickoff of the game, his first work of the afternoon. Of course, Lucas, part of that state champion Wildcat soccer team. Congratulations to them. Now the Lovington Wildcat boys are going to need to find a way to keep Silver off the board and get three scores of some variety themselves. So Contreras tees it up at the 40 and prepares to boot it away. Vasquez back deep to receive for the Colts. So Lucas will come up on it. He will kick it away. It'll be a short kick as it'll be fielded by Boyer back at the 30. He brings it across the 35 to the 40. High step to the 45, and he is going to be clipped and not clipped, but he's going to be stood up and dropped out. Boyer with a good return, though. Fielded it and ran it like a running back. And they're going to say officially up at the 45-yard line. I think I was about five yards off. I'm used to A being a little higher and B being on artificial turf where the lines and numbers are a little easier to see. From the 45-yard line, it'll be Colt football after a good return by Boyer, the linebacker, and lineman. So 
Hammond. They're going to bring out Jimenez to start things at the quarterback position here in the second half. Lockett is his deep back. Sends Vasquez in motion from the right to the left. Take the handoff. Jimenez rolls right, throws it, gets it to Vasquez under pressure, and a huge hit put on and slammed down. They got it to Vasquez. It's going to be good for make it eight yards. Anthony Gomez with the stop. Second and two. After the little, this little dump pass, basically, to the running back, Vasquez. Cat's going to keep four men up front, looks like. And Silver going to put two receivers to the right and one to the left. Make that twins to the left. From Lovington Territory at the 48-yard line. Good snap. Hand it off. Vasquez goes right, gets a block, comes across through the line, crosses the 45 to the 43-yard line where he's tripped up by Matthew Garcia, but he's going to pick up five, and it'll move the chains first down. Their eighth first down of the ball game. So now first and ten for the Colts at the Lovington 43-yard line. Just underway third quarter. Lovington's defense trying to stiffen here. Split backs in the backfield with Lockett and Vasquez. Jimenez still the quarterback and a hard count and false start on Silver, so that'll move them back five yards. Just their second penalty of the ball game. They've both been false starts. Well, that'll move them back to the 48-yard line, still inside Lovington territory. Ten and a half to go in this third quarter. No second, rather first and 15. Split backs in the backfield once again. Single receiver to the right, single one to the left. Good snap, Jimenez with it. Looks to pass, wants Richard. He is open and lays out across the 30, across the 20, and gets it. So he'll have it, and they're going to spot him at the 15-yard line. That'll be a 33-yard reception from Jimenez to Richard. First and 10 for the Colts inside the Lovington red zone at the 16. Richard, three catches, 87 yards, and now it's Silver knocking on the door to start this third quarter. Twins left, twins right. Send a man in motion right to left. Fake the hand off to the motion man. Give it to Lockett going right side. He's still on his feet. He's across the 10 and squirts it into the corner of the end zone from 16 yards out. Lovington trying to get the arm tackles in, but could not. And so Lockett will take it 16 yards to the house for his first touch, first touchdown of the ball game. And that'll make it a 20 to nothing lead in favor of the fighting Colts. Lockett just kept the legs moving and churning and broke through a couple of tackles and takes it home. So the point after to come from Corey. Good snap. The hold is good. The kick is going to be blocked as Lovington comes through and puts the big block on it as Hagen Lazardo blocks it out. And so Lovington will block the extra point, but Silver still marches their first possession of the second half down and scores it. 9.29 remaining in the third. Silver 20, Lovington yet to score. Back in 30 seconds on KZOR. by a 16-yard touchdown run by Mason Lockett. The point after is no good, and with 9.29 remaining in the third quarter, it's now Silver 20, Lovington trying to get on the board. So Corey to kick it away. Two Wildcats back deep. And that's Thompson and Olguin. And the kickoff, it's a helicopter kick. Lovington just going to watch it go straight. 
Ten and through the back of the end zone. So pretty much like they've done all game, lobbing to line at first and ten on their own 20. Backs room to work with. I know it's easy to say, a lot harder to do. Now it's all up to the Lovington offense. First down and 10. Single back in the backfield is Cardenas. And they will hand it to Cardenas, but he's hitting the backfield. And the ball is out as Aranda going to have to go over and stretch out and get it. And he will, but it'll be back at the 14-yard line. Cardenas gets two, but then coughs it up. And then Aranda going to wind up with it, but he's going to lose six yards on the play. Yikes, but at least didn't lose it. So it'll be second down and 16. So now it'll be second and 16 for the Wildcats. That one didn't go like they planned on at all. Maybe a little miscommunication between Cardenas and Aranda. Looked like there was a little confusion there. Trips to the right, one to the left. Aranda, good snap with it. Three-step drop, looks, fires across the middle. That one is tipped up in the air, and Ogeen going to get it across the 20, out to the 22-yard line, and he is going to get absolutely leveled by Richard. It'll be an eight-yard completion, and, yeah, that one uh, definitely got a flag on the play, so the eight-yard completion, and I have a feeling we're going to be tacking 15 onto this one, but Ogeen is down, and he's not feeling good. And sportsmanlike conduct late hit, I have got to think. But we will wait on the official call. And we still don't have an official call, and Ogeen is still down injured. And it will be personal foul on the Colts for the late hit. And the Colt faithful not liking it. Look at the scoreboard, guys. That's all you need to know. So the unsportsmanlike conduct, the late hit, and Ogeen is down and down hard. So the injury timeout. We'll take it with them. We're back in 30 seconds. Wildcat football continues in a moment. Welcome back to Wildcat football. Good news, Olguin is up and moving under his own power. A little bit shaky as Coach G will escort him off, but after you factor in the 15 yards for the unsportsmanlike conduct, I don't know if it was a late hitter targeting. I didn't see the call, but it'll move Lovington. First down and 10, give him a new set of downs. That'll move it to the 37-yard line for the Wildcats. So 15 yards onto the end. Yep, that is right. First and 10 from the 37, Wildcat football. Aranda from the shotgun formation. Twins left, twins right. Hand it off. Cardenas starts it to the left, bounces it back right, and will bounce it across the 40. Or he's brought down by Boyer, then slams him back into the ground, then helps him up. So Cardenas going to pick up three. So it'll be second down and seven. Hey, three yards in a cloud of dust. You'll take it. Hey, get three yards in a cloud of dust every time you move the ball down the field and eventually you score. And since this is a natural turf stadium, the cloud of dust is possible. It is in good shape, though, considering we're in mid-November here in Silver City. I mean, we're mid-November everywhere, but you get the idea. Empty set. Trips to the left. Twins to the right. Send a man in motion. That is Cardenas. Handed off to him on the end around. Nowhere for on Dallas to go. Gets away from one. Gets away from two. Can't get away from three or four, though. And is spun down. And somehow, though, still manages to get forward for a couple of yards. Aiden Granado brings him down. And they're going to give him, looks like, another yard. So give him a yard. Third down and six. Well, I don't know how he got anything on that, but he did. So third down and six, ball at the 41-yard line. 6.50 remaining in the third. Lovington trailing by three scores. Trips right, one to the left. Aranda waits the snap, low snap. Ashton handles it. Pressure comes, throws near side, and that one is going to skip in and incomplete. Trying to get it to Anson Marquez near side but it'll be incomplete. Marquez had a little space, but pressure coming on Aranda from Olguin. Ruben Olguin on the near side forced him to rush the throw a little bit, and I think we've said this way too many times this ballgame. 
going to be punt time for the Wildcats. So fourth down and seven, make it six to go, 640 remaining. Coach G may decide to go for it here, trying to get a little spark. He's going to come out and sip trips to the left, one to the right. And he's got Cameron Ochoa in the backfield, so we'll see. Looks like they're going to go for it. High snap, Ashton with it. Pressure comes, fires far side. It'll be complete to Ryan Weiser, and he gets it and gets out of bounds, and he gets enough for the first down. He needed six. He gets eight and moved the chains. First down, Wildcats. That was a big catch for Ryan Weiser. So first and ten from the 48. Weiser now with... 24 receiving yards. So Wildcats from their own 48-yard line, first down and 10. Trying to get on the board. Twins left, twins right. Hand it off. That is Ochoa who's going to cross in with authority right up the gut and into Silver Territory before their old game brings him down. Cameron, though, is going to be slow to get up. He picks up six on the play. He's a little slow. Well, somebody's a little slow to get up, and we will have a timeout. Ochoa's up and fine. And a little slow to get up one of our linemen. As that's Daniel Wall, the senior lineman, up and a little hobbled. And he's going to make it to the sideline under his own power. Looked like maybe he came down a little funny and knocked the wind out of him. Second down and four. When the Wildcats get back to it, 6-13 remaining. Here in the third, trailing 20 to nothing. But trying to get a little bit of something going here in the third. Now they're going to wind the play clock and the game clock. And they do have play clocks, at least in the south end zone. Well, they, aren't, they aren't rolling them. They are rolling the game clock. So Lovington just now getting into the huddle. And now they're going to split it out as we click under six minutes to play. Twins left, twins right. Waiting on the snap. Aranda with a man on his left shoulder. That is Ochoa. With time, Ashton going to have to take it left side. Looks, fires across the middle, and that one is going to skip in. Did Weiser get it? Yes, he did. It'll be good for 14 yards to Ryan and move the chains. First down, Wildcats. So the 14-yard completion, and it'll be the sixth first down, and that'll be the third catch, fourth catch for Weezer for 38 yards. So now first and 10 inside the 40 at the silver 39-yard line. And I think that one got tipped as Ashton let it fly, but Ryan did a nice job, came back and cradled it up. And with it eat back, that's Ochoa. One receiver left side, pitch it to Ochoa. Sweep coming to the right side. Gets a block, Cameron gets away from one, but then runs in to Sanchez and also Chavez. Still going to pick up a couple, though, trying that sweep. It'll be, well, more than a couple. It'll be a four-yard gain for Ochoa. The second down and four. The second and four for the Wildcats. Taking a lot of time off the clock, but you've still got time to play. 20 to nothing the score, Lovington trails. But finally, finally getting a little something going on offense. Single receiver to the right side, everybody else in tight. Deep back is Cardenas. Aranda with it, pitch it to Cardenas, and he bobbles it, somehow gets it back. Spin move as he gets back to the line of scrimmage, maybe loses a yard before the initial hit is on, and then the rugby scrum starts. Walter Woodward, the outside linebacker, hits him first, Cardenas. He feels that cleanly, has four or five yards probably as it is. He'll lose a yard, and so it'll be third down and five now for the Wildcats. So third and five, stayed in. 3.50 remaining here in this third quarter. Now an important third and five. Ball from the 34-yard line. Need to get it to about the 29. Twins to the left, twins to the right. Or actually, one to the right. Aranda with it. The late handoff comes to Cardenas. He's got some room. He's across the 30. Down across the 25 to about the 24-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10. More than enough. Move the chains. First down, Wildcats. Hard running for Cardenas today. His eighth carry for just 22 yards. A 
but that'll move them down to the 24-yard line. First time they've even sniffed the Silver City Red Zone this afternoon. Clock continues to move down under three minutes to play. Four receivers set. Twins left, twins right. Ochoa is the deep back. Aranda from the pistol waits on it, gets it, hands it to Ochoa. He's got a little room up the middle, goes over on the left guard side, crosses the 20 down to the 18-yard line. Another six-yard gain for Ochoa. <coughs> Pardon me. So it'll be second down and four now for the Wildcats. Inside the now pharmacy red zone for the first time today against Silver. And now Lovington going to come out in a four receiver set. They're going to split three to the right. Single man up to the left is Weiser. Waiting on it, hand it off. Ochoa on the sweep, comes around. Not a lot of running room, but he got, well, enough. He needed four, he gets four, and it'll move the chains for Ochoa. Nine carries, 42 yards for Kamen. And that'll be the eighth first down of the ball game for the Wildcats. So spot them right at about the 15-yard line, first down and 10 for the Cats, but under two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Lovington needing to cash in if they can here. From the 15, first and 10, Wildcat football knocking on the door in silver territory. Aranda waits on it, three-step drop, looks left, fires back across the middle and incomplete as it looked like Weiser was coming in almost on a curl and it was thrown just a little bit out. So incomplete as Ryan was open, but a little bit of a misfire, incomplete, and it'll be second down and 10. Lovington wanting it all there, but just coming up empty. All right, you still got time, and timeout is going to be taken. 96 seconds remaining in the third. Lovington knocking on the door, second and 10 from the 15-yard line. We'll return in 30 seconds. This is Wildcat football on KZOR. here in Silver City, Lovington knocking on the door with 1.36 to go in the third quarter. A must-score possession as they trail 20 to nothing in this 4A semifinal matchup. The so Lovington takes the timeout. Actually, Silver takes the timeout. So it'll be first or rather second and 10 from the 15. Lovington offense finally starting to fire on all cylinders. Lovington going to split trips to the left and twins to the right. Empty set in the backfield this time for Aranda. No Ashton will wait on it. Marks it out, has it, takes it himself, goes up the middle, cuts it back to the left. Stiff arms a man, stretches out at the goal line and just short, but he should have enough for the first down. Yes, he will inside the five to the four-yard line. So 11 yards on the quarterback keeper and move the chains. First down, Cats, first and goal. Now first and goal from the four-yard line. 1.14 to go here in the third quarter. Let's see what the Lovington goal line O looks like. Had trouble with it at times this season. Aranda waits for it, hands it off to Ochoa, who gets swallowed up and dropped back at the six-yard line. Well, that'll mean it is second and goal now from about the six. So second and goal from the six yard line after the loss of three for Ochoa. Thirty-six seconds to go here in the third quarter. Lovington knocking on the door in the now pharmacy red zone. Under 30 to play, Aranda. Goes up under center this time. Ochoa is the deep back. Ashton with it. Hand it to Kamen. Goes left, but he is hit, and he gets back to the line, but no more than that, and it'll wind up being third and goal from the six. As Gavin Aguirre, the defensive end, 
sniffs him out and takes him down. Oh, no gain for Ochoa. And so now it'll be third and goal from the six, and it's going to be Silver that takes another timeout. Just eight seconds left to go in the third, so we'll keep it right here. So Silver calling a timeout, a little bit confused by that. They seem to have the momentum going in their, their favor, but going to run the uh, run the risk of icing themselves. So while we've got a moment, I'd like to say a big thank you to our friends at Now Pharmacy, Devon Energy, Lovington Auto Supply, Lovington Schools, Eunice Pump and Supply, Bob Thriftway, Lee County Electric Cooperative, Man Welding, Stone Oil Field Services making Wildcat football possible here on Z94 KZOR and on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel. Also our great friends at IPS, Lasco Construction, Norley Hospital, Albertsons Market, and New Mexico Junior College. We couldn't do it without their help and support. So out of the silver timeout, it'll be third down and goal from about the five yard line. So yeah, third and goal from about the five or six yard line, depending on your angle. As Aranda going to go up under center. Waits on the snap, gets it. Now he's going to roll right. Looking right, looking, looking, looking. And fires it into the back of the end zone. And it is good. Touchdown. Six on the board. Touchdown Wildcats as he fires it into Matthew Garcia. And the Cats are on the board. Garcia gets open and makes it happen. And, of course, because of the way we're set up in here, I think... Uh, Instead of saying Matthew's touchdown, you probably saw the nice inner seal of this window, but it'll still be a touchdown for the Wildcats. Now that'll be the final play of the third quarter, and Lovington finally gets on the board. They're trying to chop into it. The point after to come from Contreras. The snap is good. The kick is up, and it is good. So at the end of the third quarter, Lovington finally gets itself on the board. We head to the fourth. It's Silver 20, Lovington 7. We're back for the fourth quarter in one minute on KZOR. Back for the start of the fourth quarter, Lovington fires it down, has an 80-yard drive, and it is capped off by the seven-yard touchdown pass from Ashton Aranda to Matthew Garcia, and so the Cats now on the board. They trail, though, with 12 minutes left to play. 20-7 to seven is the score. So now going to be on the special teams. I think you kick it away. You've got Contreras. Kick it deep. Get it through the end zone if you can and let the defense take over. But if you're Lovington, you cannot let have let Silver have a long grinding possession up by two touchdowns. The clock is their friend. To be sure, Lovington still huddled up. They've been told it is time to go. Coach G not afraid to go for a little trickeration. Might see an onside kick here. A little squib trying to get to it. A little mid-range kick if they can find it. Kicking no man's land. So we'll see how he plays it here as Contreras up to the line. And it will be an onside kick. And it'll bounce. It'll take a big bounce. Then it'll be fielded by Morales back at the 30. And he moves backwards inside the 28. But he gets it before he is brought down by the Wildcats. And Adam Sanchez, Ryan Weiser on the stop. Also 
getting a hand in there, Anson Marquez. And it'll go over to the Colts. And that one was a bouncing ball. It was just fielded well by Morales. And they spot him at the 29-yard line. So now, here Lovington, you've got to look for turnovers and turnover opportunities. But more importantly than anything, if you can force a three and out, you need to do it right here. They'll keep him in as in at the quarterback position. And he's going to split everybody out. It'll be an empty set. Trips to the left, twins to the right. Silver moving from the north to the south. Send a man in motion. That's Vasquez. Handed off to him on the end around. They'll throw the reverse, but the ball is out. It is inside the 10, and going back to it is Richard. It pops out, but Lovington says they have it. But the officials step in immediately and say that Silver has the football, and they will. <coughs> Pardon me. So, and Richard will get it, but he is going to be well inside the 10. He's going to be back. Wow, they give it to him at the 14. You got to be, that's a little bit interesting. So, still a loss of 14 on the play. So, it'll be second down and 24. No, second down and 24. For the Silver Colts, that may be the break Lovington needs. No big plays. From the shotgun, back to pass. Jimenez takes it himself, has running room up the middle, and he's just going to slide and give himself up at the 19-yard line. Smart going there as Lovington was probably going to cream him. So it'll be a pickup of five. But we've got a flag on the play. Nope, no flag. So just a five-yard gain for Jimenez. And so third and 21. Third and 19 officially. I'm going to learn how to do math. So Jimenez, high snap handles it. Pressure comes. Goes back and just throws that one in. In and out of the hands of Lockett and incomplete. Lovington, yeah, it was a forward pass. So incomplete. Lovington's defense does what they need to do. It'll be fourth down. And should be punt time here for the Silver Colts. Lovington can get good field position here. <clears throat> so now Lovington, the defense did what they needed to do. Lock it back to punt. Ogeen back deep to receive. He's going to be back around the 50-yard line. That's where he's going to put his toes. Now his heels. So Lockett going to be forced back at about his own seven-yard line. Waits the snap. Lovington going to come after it. Lovington gets through, and that one is going to be popped up as it moved him a little bit, and they're telling him move out of the way. It'll take a silver bounce at the 35, and it'll be down at the 38-yard line. So Lovington first and 10 from the 38 of silver with 10.05 to go. They've got time, and now they need to punch it and punch it in quickly. The Cats not going away, still have life. First and 10 from the Silver, 38 after the defense. Comes up big, helped by a blown reverse for Silver that turned into an 18, make that a 14-yard loss for him. So now it is Lovington's offense's turn to see if they can make that momentum shift stay. <coughs> Pardon me, Ochoa in the backfield. Twins left, one to the right from the near hash mark as they'll pitch it to Ogeen on the end around. Gets away from one, still on his feet. Stiff arms a man at the 30 and is knocked down there. So Ogeen, though, going to pick up eight on the play. It'll be second down and two. So second and two, Ogeen on the eight-yard end around from the 30-yard line. 9.40 remaining in the ball game. Lovington trailing by 13. Still time, and they've still got two timeouts to work with. Taking their time. Clock continues to move with 9.25 to go. Second down and two from the silver 30. Split Weiser out by himself wide to the left side. Aranda waits on it. Good snap. Just going to keep it himself. Goes up the middle, has room, and is going to be down at the 20-yard line. As he just played big boy football and took it right up the middle. It'll be a 10-yard gain for Ashton Aranda and move the chains. First down, Wildcats. That'll be their 10th of the ball game. 
So to the now Pharmacy Red Zone we go. Nose of the ball right at the 20 yard line. Lovington continues to march. The first and 10 from the 21 officially. Wildcats trying to cut this to a one score game. Hand it off to Cardenas. He is inside the 20 down to the 18 yard line where he is hit and stopped there by Matthew Garrison and Gavin Aguirre. Tough running today for Cardenas. Second down and eight. And we've got a man down injured. So a lot of hard hitting going on out there for both squads. And that is Cardenas as he is going to be down. He's not feeling good. We'll take an injury timeout with 8.29 remaining in the ball game. Injury timeout. We're back in 30 seconds on KZOR. Okay. And welcome back to Wildcat football here on Z94 KZOR and the Lovington Sports YouTube channel. So Cardenas is up and being helped off the field. You certainly hope that that young man is okay. He's had a tough go of it today on the ground. Nine carries for just 24 yards. So out of the injury timeout, 8.25 to go here in the ball game. Trips to the right, one to the left. Second and eight, Lovington inside the red zone. Ochoa is the back on the left shoulder. Bad snap. Aranda picks it up. Looks to pass. Throws it left side and just throws it out of the back of the end zone. The Silver Colts want a intentional grounding. Not going to get it, but another uncharacteristically bad snap. Seen a couple of those today. And again, when you're dealing with natural grass, sometimes it grabs different. Oh, we've got a late flag that has just come in and they are gonna call intentional grounding. Wow, a late intentional grounding call. Lovington was getting ready to go to the line. Alec Olguin, I thought, might have been close enough, but the man in the white cap apparently thought differently. So it will be loss of down. So it'll be third down now and 18. So now third and 18 as it moves them back outside the 30 to the 32-yard line. 8.09 to go in Lovington in four-down territory here. And you got two downs to get 18 yards. Need to get it to the 11. They're at the 31. Make it the 32, so it's actually 21 yards. So third and 21. Twins left, twins right. Aranda with it. Steps, fires, and Weiser gets it again at the 25-yard line. It'll be a seven-yard pickup to Ryan. But it's still now going to be fourth and 14. So fourth down and 14. Wow, as the white cap official stepped in and said, nope, it was incomplete. So wipe that one off the board. And so now fourth and 21. Lovington's got to go for it here. Field goal ain't going to do it. The game could hinge on this fourth down and 21. Lovington trails by two scores. 7.48 remaining in the ball game. Trips to the right. Twins to the left. Empty set in the backfield. Most important play of the game. Aranda with it. Has time. Now steps up. Looking for somebody, and we've got a flag on the play. Aranda fires across his body. It is complete to Gonzalez, and Angel will have it. It'll be short of the first down, and I think they're going to take the result of the play because it'll be a holding on Lovington. So get it to Angel Gonzalez. I'm going to hold off writing that one down. It's a 20-yard gain, 20-yard completion to Gonzalez. And so let's see what they... Call and it'll be holding on Lovington. So, and so it will be a 20 yard completion to Angel Gonzalez, but smartly declined. And so that'll go over on downs. And so it will be silver football. Needed 21.
one. They got 18 of them, or 20 of them. Then that'll be first down and 10 from the 14-yard line. Silver football. And watch for them just to try and make the clock disappear. They're going to be important. Lovington, if they can force a turnover, are going to need to do it. Running out of time. The lock, it'll be the deep back. Jimenez will be up under center. Two tight ends on the right side. Give it to Lockett, brings it to the near side, and he is going to be hit and dropped in the backfield. Has a great job coming down the line for the Wildcats. Turn around there. That'll be Angel Sanchez. So he moves Lockett back a yard. So now it'll be second down and 11. So second and 11 as the Wildcat defense doing their part here in this second half. Silver not going to be in any hurry at all to do what they need to do. So a second down and 11. Jimenez from the pistol formation. Now he's going to move up under center. Sends a man in motion. Hand it off to that motion man who comes around to the left side. And he'll get it out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Because that's Aiden Hawkes, the other quarterback. Be a three-yard gain for Hawkes. And now it'll be third down and eight. So third and eight. Lovington's defense needing to hold again. If they can, they'll get the football back with about five and a half to go. If they can hold them here. So they got to get the stop. Then they got to get the ball back to score quickly. And then try and stop them again. Lovington still with two timeouts to work with. Jimenez goes up under center. Lock at the deep back. Two tight ends in the ball game and a whistle sounds and timeout going to be taken by Coach Ortiz. 5.59 remaining in the ball game. Silver 20, Lovington 7. Back in 30 seconds on KZOR. Welcome back to Wildcat Playoff Football here on Z94 KZOR and the Lovington Sports YouTube channel facing a third down and eight. The Silver Colts take the time out to talk about it. Lovington doing everything they can to stop them. We are at 5.59 remaining in the ball game. If Lovington can stop them here, they would get the football back with give or take right around five minutes trailing by 13. So a huge third and eight right now for the Lovington defense. Trying to stand strong. Jimenez still the quarterback. Lockett is the deep pack. Send a man in motion, and they're going to pitch it. It is the fullback option and overthrown as they pitched it to their backup quarterback, Jaquez, who tries to get it to Richard. It is incomplete. And so fourth down, and that'll stop the clock, too. I thought there was no way they were throwing the ball on that down. Instead, they tried the little flea flicker and gets it incomplete. And so that means Lovington will have more time to work with. 5.54 on the clock with the kick to come. Alec Olguin back deep to receive on fourth down and eight punt time. Watch for them to come after this one if they can. Lockett is the punter and has done an excellent job today when they've had to punt it away. So Olguin back near midfield. High snap, Lockett handles it. Lovington comes through. Might have gotten a hand on it as that one takes a bounce and then takes a Lovington roll back inside the 35 to the 33-yard line. So the Cats have excellent field position again from the Colt 33. 5.45 to go. Now it's going to be important. Score and score pretty quickly. Lovington trailing 20-7, to but still with time in the ball game. They've got to find a way to punch it into the end zone and do it fast. So from the 33-yard line inside Silver Territory, first down and 10 for your Lovington Wildcats. Empty set in the backfield. Ashton waits for it. Fakes the handoff back to pass. Wants it, slings it down the seam and overthrows everybody. Only Silver players in the neighborhood. 
It looked like Lovington had maybe pulled up, going for some underneath routes, and Miranda going for all of it, incomplete, and it'll be second down and 10. Are they going to throw another intentional grounding on him? So it'll be second down and 10 from the 33-yard line. Just an overthrow. So the Cats continuing to look for some scores. They have managed to punch one in in this half. The offense has just been a little off today. Aranda, three-step drop, fires it far side and out of the outreached arms of Garcia. Had him open but couldn't connect. So now it'll be third down and 10. A third and 10 for the Wildcats. Of course, going to be in four-down territory as sideline warning comes in on the player's box on the near side for Silver. So now a third down and 10 for the Wildcats at the Silver City 32. The offense, the defense has done their job in this second half. Now it's up to the offense. Trips left, single receiver to the right, single back in the backfield is Ochoa. Aranda with it, has time, hit as he fires, gets it underneath to Thompson. He's got it, he is inside the 20, down to about the 18, make it the 17-yard line, and it'll move the chains. First down, Wildcats. Oh, they're going to call holding on Lovington. Wow. So the 10-yard penalty will move them back, goes from a first down to now third and 20. Fourth penalty for 50 yards on the Wildcats. So holding is the call, and that'll move them back. And that is from the spot of the foul, and they're actually going to move them back to nearly the 50-yard line. And they got to get it up to the 23, so it's actually third down and 25 on the hold. Wow, because it happened five yards deep in the backfield. And now third down and, um, well, what's north of here? Gallup, I guess. So third and Gallup for the Wildcats. Aranda handles it, looks to pass, throws it to Ogeen, gets it, has some room up the middle and just runs into a man, gets most of the penalty back. It's going to be a 15-yard gain for Alec. And he gets the penalty yardage back. If he cuts it back near side, he's got some more running room, but just went up and made contact. Third catch for Alec for 37 yards. So now it'll be fourth down and 10 for Lovington. And we've got a player down injured on the field as Olguin down once again in this ball game. So the injury timeout clock stops with 5.05 remaining. Silver 20, Lovington 7. And well, we'll just keep it right here as Alec's up. Looks like he's okay. Pardon me, after the big gain. So gets Lovington back within striking distance. As they're going to say fourth down and 11 officially. So a fourth and 11 now for the Wildcats. Got to get somebody open. You need to convert this first down. 5.04 remaining in the ball game as they start the clock up once again. As the Silver Faithful, and it is a packed house on this side, get loud. Lovington bringing a good contingent, too. They are getting loud. So a fourth down and 11. Single back in the backfield is Ochoa. Aranda with it. Pressure comes. Ashton lets it fly and intercepted at the 10-yard line. Is coming back across the 15 to the 20, to the 25, running 35 to the 40. Coming back across to midfield. Finally going to be tackled by Ezekiel Guzman. But Diego Lucero with the INT. And the first turnover of the game for the Wildcats comes at a terrible time. And now Silver will have it at midfield with 4.28 to go in the ball game and a two touchdown lead. Two timeouts remaining for the Wildcats. But that may be the momentum swinger that Silver has been waiting for. Now right at midfield as a mi little miscommunication between Aranda and his receiving core as he overthrew Gonzalez and Thompson. The only receiver back there was wearing the navy blue instead of the royal blue. And Lucero with a huge return. So they're going to put their 
Another quarterback in who hands it to Lockett, and he's going to cross into Lovington territory for about two yards. So the Cats, though, coming down the line and making that stop was Valentin Herrera. And actually, no gain officially on the play. So great job there by Valentin. Seven carries, 53 yards for Lockett. Ball still right at the midfield stripe. I don't know why they're playing this quite so fast. Adrian Yaquez with three backs in the backfield this time. And Boyer, is he's going to move him over to the right side almost as a tight end. And second and ten. Hand it to Vasquez. Coming near side on the sweep. Crosses to Lovington territory. Gets a push. Crosses the 45 down to about the 42-yard line. Eight yards for Vasquez, so third down and a very manageable two yards to go. So now the important third down. And Lovington going to take their second time out with 324 remaining in the ball game. Lovington timeout trailing by 13, 20 to 7 our score. Back in 30 seconds here on KZOR. Lovington uses their second time out of the half. Silver City with a third down and two in Lovington territory. So the Cats trailing by 13. They have got to stop them here if they want any chance of coming back in this ballgame. Lovington with one timeout remaining. Third and two. If Lovington wants to keep their season alive, this is the play of the year. Aquez hands it to Vasquez, or pardon me, that's Boyer, and he goes up the middle. Ball is coughed up, but he just gets it right back. And so the big boy, Boyer, will just bowl through and pick up six yards on the play, and it'll be first down for Silver City. As they gave it to the big bruiser, Luke Boyer, tight end of offensive lineman, and he'll take it down to the Wildcat that is the 34-yard, 36-yard line. So under three minutes to play. Hawkes stays in at the quarterback. Hand it off. New back in the ball game is going to be number 42. And that's going to be a get-a. First hit carry for him today. And he will take it forward for three yards. A second down and seven, and Lovington is going to take their third and final time out of the half. 2.34 remaining in the ball game. We'll just keep it right here. Say a big thank you to everybody who's made Wildcat football possible, including Stone Oil Field Services, Man Welding, Lee County Electric Cooperative, Bob Thriftway, Eunice Pump and Supply, the Lovington Schools, Lovington Auto Supply, Devon Energy, now Pharmacy, IPS, Lasco Construction, Norley Hospital, NMJC, and Albertsons. So second down and seven, just over two and a half minutes to go. Lovington is now out of timeouts, trailing by 13 points. The offense just not able to get on track today against a silver team that's number one in the state for the reason. Of course, last year, Lovington knocked off Silver in the quarters. This year, Silver looking to return the favor in the semis. The quarterback is Jaquez. Three backs in the backfield with him. Hand it to Lockett. Goes left side. Has some room. He's to the 15, or rather to the 20, to the 15, and still on his feet. And finally going to be pushed out of bounds. Let's see where they spot him. It looks like they're going to put him out around the 15-yard line. They will, so it'll be a 23-yard run for Lockett, who has 76 yards, and that'll be the 12th first down for Silver City. And that will just about do it. Lovington out of timeouts. Lockett was knocked out of bounds. Oh, it stops the clock with 2.23 to go. 
And it looks like Hawkins will stay in at the quarterback position. Three backs, hand it to Lockett, goes right side. And he is hit in the backfield and brought down. The Wildcats, good pursuit there. Matthew Garcia and Cameron Ochoa, officially a gain of one on the play. Ochoa doing a nice job, so it'll be second down and nine as the clock moves down under two minutes to play. So barring a football miracle, Silver City will move on into the finals to play Bloomfield, a team they've already pretty much slaughtered earlier this season. Second down and one. We are under two minutes to play. Send a man in motion. Taquez is going to resettle everybody. They'll pitch it this time to Vasquez, who starts it left, cuts it back into the middle, and is going to cross the 10 down to about the 7-yard line. Now he's going to pick up 7 on the play. Third down and 2. 38 yards for Vasquez on seven carries. So third down and two. 20 to seven is our score. Silver trying for a rub in score here, maybe. So third and two. Under a minute to play. A first down would end it. Silver would love nothing more than to get a touchdown from the pistol formation. Aquez, high snap. Hand it to Vasquez, and he is driven backwards. The Cats not going to give him the satisfaction as Weiser and also Anthony Gomez moving back. It'll be a two-yard loss for Vasquez. So now it'll be fourth down and four. But we are under 30 seconds to play. And that will do it. They don't have to run another play in the ball game, although it looks like they are going to with 19 seconds to go. They're going to come out, and they're going to attempt a field goal. Are you kidding me? Well, get, get the practice in, I suppose. So the field goal, they're going to attempt the last second field goal. High snap. It's handled. Lovington gets to it. Doesn't quite get to it, and that one is going to sneak through and adding insult to injury at the end of the ball game as the clock expires. Final score, Silver 23, Lovington 7, and that will end the Wildcats' season. We'll take a two-minute timeout, come back and wrap this up. This is Lovington Wildcat Playoff Football on KZOR. Welcome to your Lovington Wildcat Now Pharmacy postgame show. Final one of the 2022 football season as the Silver Colts knock off the Wildcats today by a final of 23-7. to The Wildcat offense was just never quite able to get anything going. The defense played extremely well today, but a couple of big plays, and that was really the difference in the offense, not able to really hang as well as they normally do with a big physical Silver City defensive line. So, you know, we're, we won't belabor the point here. We just lost 23 to seven. It happens, but the Cats still a lot to be proud of. They won district and they had a five game winning streak and a lot to be proud of for this team. And for these seniors back to back state champions, there will not be a third, but you know, there's always next year. And of course those seniors include Caden Smore, Adam Sanchez, Ashton Aranda, Lucas Contreras, Leo Reyes, Hagan Lazardo, also Josh Allen, Anthony Gomez, 
Moving down the list, Donald McKillop. Also Angel Sanchez, Brennan Garcia. Isail Rodriguez, Daniel Wall. Appreciate all of those young men. Also senior Blake Howell and senior Angel Gonzalez and senior Drevin Powell. All giving us a lot of great memories over the year. Of course, a great class coming back for 2023. A lot of juniors who saw valuable time this season and will give the Wildcats a core to build on as the commitment to excellence continues in Lovington, getting to the semifinals this year. I know it's not where they wanted to be, but getting to the Final Four, hey, there is a lot of teams that would love to still be playing here today, but uh, just not the case tonight for the Wildcats as Silver learning their lessons from the last couple years in Lovington's district and getting the victory here today, 23-7. to seven. And with that, my friends, we will put a wrap on Wildcat football 2022. Lovington Wildcat basketball starts very soon. So for Max Carranza in studio engineering and producing, for Tiff Stuber, for Don Morgan, I'm TJ Miracle saying so long from Silver City, the Wildcats fall. Our final again, 23-7 to seven in the 4A semifinal. This has been an exclusive presentation of No Walmart Broadcasting and One Radio Square Sports with rights granted by the NMAA and paid for by No Walmart Broadcasting on Z94 KZOR. Today's game was brought to you by Stone Oil Field Services, Man Welding, the Lee County Electric Cooperative, Bob Thriftway, Eunice Pump and Supply, Lovington Schools, Lovington Auto Supply, Devon Energy, Now Pharmacy, IPS Incorporated, Lasco Construction, Norley Hospital, Albertsons Market, and New Mexico Junior College. Good night, everybody, and have a great weekend and a happy Thanksgiving.